Hi, this is Jeff West, and I'll be giving you an overview of controller mapping within Apigee 127. We'll be going through the documentation that's on the wiki, which is a quick start for implement a controller that talks about how the controllers uh, are mapped to HTTP paths and operations. And for those of you who are new to Apigee 127, what this does is it allows you to take a Swagger document and add some annotations uh, and wire in business logic to have a running API from a Swagger document. So let's get to it. So what I'll do is I'll create a project, um, calling this one controllers. We'll take a look at the project, uh, the skeleton project, and then we'll uh, muck around with it a bit. edit, so I'll open up the Swagger editor. And here we can see that the uh, the project skeleton has a hello path and a specification of the X Swagger router controller to be hello world. So let's take a look at the project itself. Here's the controller's home directory, or the project root, and then there's an API controllers directory with hello world here. This, uh, so the way it works is this uh, module, or Apigee 127, uses this module to look for the hello underscore world node module in the controller's directory by default. Here uh, we have defined a function hello, and let's call this hello function, just to differentiate these two. So I have hello operation, hello function. And so what uh, actually the Swagger tools component does is it looks at the Swagger router controller for hello world, finds it here, and then for this path, uh, for this operation on this path, it looks for the operation ID hello operation on this module. The way that node module exports work uh, you can either, there, there's two styles, or I mean, there's, there's multiple styles. Uh, here we have uh, the, the simple style where there's one export definition. You can also do something like this, where you have module exports dot thing, hello operation equals function. So here, these two things are effectively the same remove this one and keep it for simplicity. So now when I start my 127 project and I try to hit the hello path and doing a git, I get hello Scott, which is the logic that is specified here. If I were to change this, uh, let's just change this to be hello operation x and see what happens. So now, when I try to hit it, it can't be found because it, uh, I changed the name and the mapping is broken. In addition to the uh, option of explicitly specifying an operation ID that you want to use, you can also default it to the HTTP verb, in this case, which would be get. So here, I'll change this to get, close the Swagger editor, and start my project. Now I hit the same URL. Now I get hello Scott. So let me open up the editor again and show you Swagger router controller here, hello world. And then you'll see I do not have an operation ID, so it tries to find the get operation ID, which resolves here. So one last thing, what I'll do is take away the Swagger router controller so we can see what that behavior is like. I'll start my project, hit the URL again, and it says cannot get that path because it can. There is no uh, there is no default for a controller. Controller has to be specified explicitly using X Swagger router controller. However, you can start your project in mock mode. And this is a simple project. So uh, what we have here is uh, it provides a response that uh, is a mock response based on the model definition in the Swagger document. 
And the way that we have defined that here is the hello world response includes a message and it is a string. So that is how it knows to do the mock response. We'll be covering the mock mode in a bit more detail in a follow on video, uh, but this should get you started with the controller mapping with 127. If you have any questions, you can find us on Twitter or submit a GitHub issue if you're having problems uh, and we'll do, a, do our best to help you. Hope you enjoyed this uh, and look for more videos from us soon. Thanks.